Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys a new project pen that I will be joining for this year. It is the Graveyard Project Pen. I did do this project last year and I'm excited to be joining again. So if you love project pen videos, definitely continue watching. Also, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I do upload three times a week, Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. So definitely subscribe so you don't miss out. And let's just go ahead and jump right in. So I did do this project last year. This project was actually created by Emily from Emily and Max here on YouTube. She also has her Instagram page, so you guys should definitely check her out. She created this project last year, and I did do this project last year as well. It's a six month rolling project pan. We are going to be doing bi-monthly updates, so there will be two updates before you guys see the finale on June 30th and August 31st. And we're supposed to pick five to 10 products, and they are supposed to be rolling as well. Um, again, the categories are resurrection, which are products from our previous project pens like that we know we didn't meet our goals and then collecting cobwebs are just products that are close to expiration or neglected products in our collection um, I'll definitely leave the playlist down in the description box so you guys can check that out and also check out Emily's channel um, I wasn't sure if I had any resurrections but then I went to my 2018 and 2019 finale videos and I found a few products that I didn't finish up usually when I start a new project like the following year the year-long projects I usually just roll in some of the products into the new project that way I can use up my products and they don't just sit like halfway used in my collection so I did manage to find a few products from the resurrection category and I do have the collecting cobwebs as well so I am going to just pick five products let's go ahead and get started so the first product that I picked is this Laura Geller baked gelato in the shade gilded honey my goal for this in I think I don't know if it was last year or the year before maybe it was last year um, was to hit pan on this and as you can see here I never did I did do a really good dip on this product but no pan anytime soon again my goal is just going to be to hit pan maybe I'll make it a goal to be like a bigger pan not like a smiley little sliver or anything but my goal was to hit pan on this I never hit pan and now I will be putting in this project to be able to hit pan because I never met my goal initially next up is this Mac Studio Fix um, powder in the shade C3 I have a major pan on this and for this one my goal is to finish it off I want to finish it hopefully in my first update which will be in two months I will be able to have this finished off I'm not sure we'll see but hopefully I can finish this so this is my second product in this project so next up I had this I don't, I don't remember what project this was in. This is my Urban Decay Naked Basics palette. And in this one, I had four shades and my goal was to hit pan on each of the shades. So as you can see here, I only have one shade in here and my goal is to finish up this shadow right there. I want to finish it off and be able to count this whole palette as an empty for the end of the year. I think it'll be awesome. So when I put this in the project, I can't remember which project it was. I'll have to put it on the screen if I end up looking it up. But um, I only had, I think, four of the six shades. And I did hit pen like on three of the four. It was like a light brown and like a light gray in here. And what I ended up doing was repressing those two shades in here to try to use it as like a bronzer contour. But the color ended up turning really dark. So hopefully I'll be able to use it as a contour. I don't know. We'll see. But again, this one, um, I had three shades left in here from the previous project. And what I did was just use the light gray and the dark brown and repressed it into this, which is also going to be in this project. But my goal for this is to finish this off. I think I can do it. I can use this to set my uh, eyeshadow primer. I think it'll be fine. Hopefully I can finish that. And then again, I did repress those two shades in here. So these, um, the shades that are in here are part of the Naked Basics. They're eyeshadows this is too gray for me i i don't think i can use this as a contour shade so i don't know let me know what you guys think i should do maybe i'll scrape off some of the brown and like the hula bronzer that's starting to 
Go Bad and the Cheek Leaders palette that I have. This is too cool tone, I feel, for me. Like, usually I don't really contour. I usually just bronze up my skin. So I don't know if this is going to work out for me. I did repress it again. I wanted to use it up as, like, a face powder instead of eyeshadow. So I don't know. But this is going to be my fourth product in here. Let me know how, what you guys think I should do. Should I just scrape some like brown eyeshadow from a single or use... Maybe I'll get some of that Hoola bronzer and hope that this will turn more warm. I don't know. I'll take a picture of this if I don't add some brown to it. But I think I'm going to have to add some brown because this is not going to work out for me as contour. I feel like it's too gray. <laughs> And then lastly, this is part of the cobwebs section. All these others were resurrections. Um, this one's the Collecting Cobwebs. This is the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Praline. I've had this for so long. So, 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 so long. But it still smells delicious. It still has the vanilla scent. I don't think it's gone bad and I've keep using it so <laughs> I want to finish it off I have no idea how much product is in here maybe I'll weigh it and see I believe that the color of the bottle is colored it's not clear I think because I tried to scrape the side and I can't see anything and that this thing has at least like half the product I think I saw someone pan this and they said this is colored a bottle you can't see through it so I'll weigh it and try to use it every single day and try to get more use out of it, get it out of my collection. My goal will be to finish this off as well. So everything I have in this project is to finish off except for this one. I want to just hit pan for my highlighter. So those are all the products that are in this year's Graveyard Project Pan. Let me know if you're doing this project or any other projects you're doing. Also, don't forget to check out the playlist that will be linked down in the description box so you guys can check them out. Check out all of the ladies that are in this project. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.